happening to Binoy Ako Block? How come they know it? Lots of people are going to be saying that lots of ways in which they find out about them and take an interest. There's a lot of producers working on programs who raise issues. I'm, you know, I'm not defending the balance, I'm just saying the way it happens is so, not because of PR agencies coming and pushing people so, so can you tell me, Mr. John Nagrinsman, how is it possible that Joe Velario, a very minor blogger in the Philippines, was featured by the BBC in order to defend because, herself, that, yeah. in order to defend herself against the people who outed her identity but not someone like me, whose need social media following is way, way higher than her, whose Facebook engagement is way, way higher than her, and who you have even interacted on Facebook. Yeah. Why were you not concerned about my safety, but you were concerned about Joe Berlario? Actually, because I covered the entire region. And at that stage, I was probably covering Myanmar or covering... No, no, not you. I'm yeah. saying, why yeah. is BBC concerned Basically, about her safety? I engaged you on Facebook. Maybe the producer who booked with that hasn't engaged with you on Facebook. It's yeah. not possible. So, so are you saying that your manager is following what's happening to Joe Berlario? about what's happening Look, to other bloggers? Oh, I we can carry on this conversation. We've been off for a very long yeah. time. Have, can we find a time where we actually can engage and talk together? Because I, I yeah, want... We, we can do that. Yeah. I'm very, very happy to be in contact that. with you, and I, I like the, the engagements we've had. Sure. With me, you will always get a receptive here, I promise. Well, well we can White always... White skin or not, you don't have to worry about the color of my skin. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, but you cannot tell me that suddenly what we thought, what we think is wrong. Because these things, you need to understand where it's coming from. It's a matter of discussion. Exactly. So, we can always have discussion. When do you want to have it? I don't know how much longer Where and when? Well, how long are you staying in Manila? Well, I'm I'm going to Davao tomorrow, yeah. and we can always schedule them. No. Why don't we? More, well, more because we won't be we won't be leaving here on Wednesday. We've got other places we to cover. You can we, we we can connect on social media, and I know you're on Facebook. We can connect on our messenger. We can keep talking that way until we can find the time. <laughs> and you can raise anything with me anytime. Okay. You know, I think you're not the right person to talk to here because you are not the one who interviewed Joe Bellario. I don't think that your team was even involved in that interview because it was a different, a very different segment. Uh, exactly. So I know that. I know that that they sought the right of reply, and then my friend Trixie was yeah, even interviewed. Yeah. But but the but the question was different. Yeah, it's about Marawi. It, no, it, it's not even that. She was being asked whether the president hired a patrol. How suddenly it's that really it's related to Joe Berlario? Because here's the thing, you know, Joe Berlario, the Pinoy Ako block exists in a context, right? It emerged because of a particular history. And it was slandering and libeling people along the way, especially those who are critical of the vice president of the Philippines. And the BBC and international media do not care about this anger. All you care about is whether the president has a paid troll network or not. And you have insulted not just me, but millions of followers and supporters of the president. Do you know that a lot of overseas Filipino workers are doing what, doing everything yeah. in order to combat the lies being peddled by mainstream media, including Rappler, Inquirer, ABS-CBN, and I know that international media is only getting its feed from these people because they have the power, resources, and connection to do this. You know, a lot of people are insulted that you are only covering one side of the story. That's not true. We have covered many sides. If it's story. not true, could you please explain to me why all of a sudden a minor blogger like Joe Berlari was given this platform? Okay, listen, I want to stop. Who made you. this connection? Can I, you, you and I have agreed we'll keep talking on social media. Can we, can we just stop it here? Because I, I can't answer this No, we, I can I, we can stop it here, yeah. but this issue will not stop no, I'm sure until we get the right yeah. answers, until we get you guys be fair and be balanced. Mm -hmm. okay. I want to say those two problems, but anyway, we'll talk again, okay? Yeah.
and Seth, you can contact me on Facebook. Okay? No, I, can't, I won't contact you on Facebook. If you want to talk to me, you contact me. Well, now wait a second. BBC no. contacted Joe Berlario, right? Why are you not going to contact me? See, I'm... see, this, this is the disparity here. Why suddenly BBC no, is contacting sorry, Joe Berlario no, and you want me to contact me? All right, let's just stop a moment. You've said a great many things about me in the past, very freely on Facebook. I've always taken that criticism yes. and responded very civilly to it. I'm saying to you now, you can communicate with me anytime I on know, Facebook, but, but and I'm available, okay? I know. And I'm very happy to you know, talk. You know, Jonathan, you are only receiving this front because yeah. you're from BBC, but I know that your team is not involved in this Joe Berlario thing. So even though that you, we are going to communicate mm -hmm. here, you're not going to give me the answers that I need because you are not involved in that production. So I, if I'm going to contact mm -hmm. someone, or if someone's going to contact me, then the team behind that interview, the one who interviewed Joe Berlario, they should contact me. Yeah. Or you give me their contact details and, and then I will talk to them. Okay. But, but, then, but, but not you, because we well, have nothing to discuss about. Because you obviously, you cannot provide me answers on how possibly mm -hmm. Joe Berlario was suddenly be given this platform. But you have a lot of other issues with the BBC, and you probably have issues with my reporting. And as I say, I'm open. You can contact yeah, me anytime. Yeah, but we have already contacted. Yeah. We already talked about your reporting on my Facebook page. So I don't think we, we should talk about that anymore. All right. And then it's leave, because that leave, is, leave, be, leave this as it is for now. Exactly. Because the issue right now is about Joseph Lario, which powerful group gave her access to BBC. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave it now. Okay. Exactly. So, keep in it. touch. Well, I don't know. I'm going to keep in touch. Well, if I, keep, if, if I contact you will, you, will you respond? If you contact me, if you contact me, I will reply. But the, but the immediate issue here that we should answer is which powerful group gave Joe Verlario of Pinoy Akovlog access to BBC? They can't give access to BBC. It's not how it works. Jonathan, mm. I was in board yesterday. Sorry, I worked for the BBC for 30 years. I actually do know how the organization works, yep. and you don't. So I have some authority on that. Okay, so... Then the next question is the, next, the, the question that I've asked you before. How come the BBC was following what's happening to Joe Berlario, right. a very minor you, Sorry, brother. you've asked that question several exactly. times. Exactly, right? so and you didn't answer it. You didn't give a really persuasive answer to that. As you say, I wasn't involved in it. Exactly. So if you're telling me that you know how your organization works, then I, you could I, have I, given I, me an answer to that question. No, I couldn't. My organization is enormous. Exactly. I don't know how every decision is made. Exactly. But I know that in order for you to be interviewed by a big platform like BBC, you should have been given access. It's either that you are really, really famous, that you are a decision maker of a country, you're a celebrity, then you're going to be given this platform. But Joe Berlario is none of that. Okay. The I only look, link to that is that she is being yeah. protected, yeah. sponsored, financed probably by the Liberal Party of the All Philippines. Right. We're going to leave it at that for now, okay? <laughs> yeah, we, we, can, we can leave it at that. <laughs> Mr. Jonathan, how is it possible that Joe Velario, a very minor blogger in the Philippines, was featured by the BBC in order to defend because, herself, uh, that, yeah. in order to defend herself against the people who outed her identity, but not someone like me, whose me social media following is way, way higher than her, whose Facebook engagement is way, way higher than her, and who you have even interacted on Facebook. Yeah. Why were you not concerned about my safety, but you were concerned about Joe Berlario? Actually, because I covered the entire region, and at that stage, I was probably covering Myanmar. Or covering no, no, not you. I'm yeah. saying, why yeah. is BBC concerned about saying, her safety? I engaged you on Facebook. Maybe the producer who booked it up hasn't engaged you on Facebook. It's yeah. quite possible. So, so are you saying that your manager is following what's happening to Joe Berlario? about what's happening to other bloggers? We can carry on this conversation. We've been going on for a very long time. Have, can we find a time where we actually can engage and talk together? Because I, I no, want. We, to, we, we can do that. I'm very, very happy to be in contact that. with you, and I, I like the, the engagements we have. Sure. With me, you will always get a receptive here. Well, well, we can White always. Skin or not, you don't have to worry about the color of my skin. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But you cannot tell me that suddenly what we thought, what we think, is wrong, because these things 
you need to understand where it's coming from. Exactly. So we can always have discussion. When do you want to have it? I don't know how much longer. Where and when? Well, how long are you staying in Manila? Well, I'm I'm going to Davao tomorrow, yeah. and we can always schedule Look, it. Why don't we? More, more, more because we won't be we won't be leaving here on Wednesday. We've got other places we're going to cover. You can we, we we can connect on social media, and I know you're on Facebook. Uh, delicious. <laughs>